Hey Harmonizers, welcome to Alicia's first bridalist horse show. That's little baby Melina sleeping on the ground there and my hubby James that are uh, hanging out while I do the horse show. I'll show you guys a little look of the ring here. They've got a little spot set up in the shade looking over the competition arena and Alicia is coming to her first jumper show and yep that's my baby Melina in the background that has the hiccups I apologize guys so this is Alicia starting off we started off with our bridle on and I had the neck rope on this is the warm-up round or the schooling round and we're doing the two three division it's two three to two six but I think most of the jumps were really more at that two three range so we started off just kind of trotting a bunch of the jumps and then I wanted to kind of ease into canter and I'm I have the reins on with the bridle but I'm not actually holding them I'm holding the neck rope and I'm wanting to see okay is she controllable is she safe how is this kind of going and once I felt like I could steer and I could stop and everything was okay then you can see I'm taking off the bridle here to do our first little bit of bridalist jumping and this is a schooling round a warm-up round so I'm able to kind of stop and do that and I'll drop the the bridle off as I come around so I really wanted to set her up for success and kind of take things easy the reason why we're doing the jumper show bridalist is just because this was a venue that gave me permission to show bridalist a lot of places don't want you to ride bridalist because of insurance or they're just not used to it, so they don't want things to be unsafe. So at the jumper show, I was actually allowed to take my bridle off and go in. And the whole intent of this experience was to get Alicia into an arena that she's not familiar with, in a show environment with people riding around, other people that are nervous, other horses that are nervous, and see if we could kind of keep our cool and be able to go around and, and do a course and and stay communicating with each other so that's really what it was all about I wasn't really trying to win or um, do well in that sense we weren't trying to be competitive per se just can we take the bridle off so you can see we kind of ease into some canter there and give her a little reward and with Alicia I find she needs time to breathe. She needs time to relax because we all know she can be a fire breathing dragon, which is why she has a, a dragon saddle pad on today. And then I hop off and, and just kind of take her out. I wanted to leave very calmly. And so I have to be very careful not to rush her. If I try to rush her, then things really fall apart. So this is our second round into the ring. So this time, this is actually part of the competition. I go in and I actually take my canter right off the bat. And we're doing our little jumper course. You can see she actually gets her lead there. We come around. So we're completely bridalless now because I felt she was really comfortable and really relaxed. And we actually haven't really done any jumping. We haven't done any jumps since I started back to riding other than just a couple little cross reels here or there. So this is all very kind of tough task for her. She has jumped before. If you've followed our videos back, Last year before I got pregnant, we did a little bit of jumping, but because she's young, she's only four, I hardly jump her. So this is all kind of new. We have some ugly fences here as we come in. Uh, a little ugly, that's supposed to be a one stride. We do it creatively with a little canner in and trot out. I'm just staying out of her way and letting her figure out getting over the fences. The jumps are very small for her. They're only two foot three. So it doesn't really matter that we kind of mess up a couple striding here and there. We're just focusing on keeping our rhythm, staying straight, and just uh, finding our relaxation as we go around the course. And the jump height is very inviting for her to figure this out. After we do our last jump there, we just come to a halt and she gets her little cookie there before we head out of the ring. So that one was a clear round uh, jump off round. So this is our jump off where we're coming around and we're going to do our little jump off, which had these little tight turns we didn't quite get our full flying lead change there i get the next one and we did drop a rail so we ended up having a fault in our our jump off round so we didn't end up placing which wasn't the goal of our our day anyways i was just happy that we got around and everybody was pretty impressed that we actually made that turn there even though we were bridalists and i was really happy that she felt really relaxed. I felt like I was riding my horse 
at home, which was fantastic feeling to be. Now, in between all of our rounds, she came out and had lots of grass and just kind of hung out with us. So here's a little look at Miss Lucy, and she's eating the grass very, very relaxed. She's not stress eating. She's actually just calmly eating, which is really nice. And then heading into our, this is our last round. I cut out our middle round just so that way I wouldn't make a super ridiculously long video. So this was our last round of the day. She'd already been in the ring now three times. So this is her fourth time into the ring. And she's coming around. She's doing everything pretty easy, kind of, you know, hops that rail a little bit. And then as we come around the corner here, she's like, hey, the out gate is right over here. We could just go out. And so I had to kind of say, no, we've got a couple more jumps to do. And this one um, was uh, a, a power and speed course where you jump the first four or five jumps or whatever that is. And then if you were clear, then you go on to do more. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually asking the judge, is it okay if I do a couple courtesy jumps so I leave on a better note than how we finish that? So I'm going to come around and jump a line. So this isn't actually part of the competition. I got, I asked the judge for permission to, to take a couple of fences. Uh, so we leave on a better note. So we jump those really nicely and I canter her past the out gate. You can see she kind of slows down there wanting to slow down at the out gate. So I just make her go around the corner there and then I praise her and I just get her to stop and uh, I'm going to dismount in the ring. So normally if you dismount in the ring, you would be disqualified because I had already not made it into the second part of the round. I was just like, you know what? It's better for my horses if I just get off in the ring and we walk out. So that way she's not thinking we have to get to the out gate. So other than that, super awesome. And at the end of the day, really, really relaxed, which is what I was looking for. And, uh, and really hoping that our freestyle is going to go well for the third red makeover. But here's a good start.